Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. It feels like it's been the longest time since I've actually sat down and spoke to camera in a vlog or in a normal video because the last one or two videos that you might have seen would have been a vlog from like a month or two months ago um, and I've posted them more recently but yeah it's been a while and I'm so excited because I have a video today that I always get so ridiculously excited about. It's a come shopping with me, yay! I mean, who doesn't get excited about shopping? Today I'm gonna do a come shopping with me. Um, I have a few things to get, mostly I have some winter key pieces because if you keep up to date with me on my social media channels, you'll know that for the last however many months I've been in all different countries and actually I haven't been here for the cold weather in the UK so I came back and like wow it is cold. So I'm going to pick up a few key pieces and then I'm going to start my Christmas shopping and I'm so excited because I love getting <laughs> this random bit of hair here. I love looking for Christmas presents for other people and basically I feel like I have the best idea ever so I'm going to totally rinse it and get it for absolutely everybody I know. I recently got hold of the Fujifilm Instax Share, I think it's the SP2, Instax Share SP2 which is a printer that you can print pictures from your phone and I have been looking for something like this for so long because I was saying to my friend the other day like if Instagram went or if social media went I would have no photos because I don't print out anything and I, we don't use those kind of cameras anymore um so it came into my life and I was spending it with my friend who I'm going to get one for is she gonna watch this she is I'll tell her not to um and we basically spent yesterday hanging out and printing out like all of the photos in the world there's a lot here um so i'm gonna pick one up for her and then also it's my mum's birthday in a few days time so i thought i won't get her one because i live at home so she can use mine at any time i'll get some extra film because i know she's gonna want to print off the most amount ever and then i'm gonna pick up a photo album because for my mum's birthday or christmas or like for my mum and dad for christmas i'm gonna make like a whole family album slash little storybook um and print off loads of pictures of like me and my brother when we were younger and i just it would be really cute and maybe like write a little story and some quotes and some funny stories of owls. I've actually got it here in front of me so I was just going to quickly give you the quickest demo of all time. So there is the battery pack. I'm trying to look through the camera and see it at the same time. So this is where you put the charger in and you get the charger in the box as well um, and then I'll just leave that there. This is where you put the battery and you have to make sure this was the mistake that I made. Um, it has a little yellow line here and then the battery can I do this one-handed? Probably not. Battery also has a yellow line here, so you basically just have to match it up, and that is what I didn't do. So I left it charging for like an hour, and obviously it didn't charge. Um, silly me. So yeah, then you put that in, you charge it up. It only takes 90 minutes um, to charge, which is incredible. And then, there we go. And then um, you turn it on here. Turn it on here, so you just hold that down. Is that turning on? There it is, I've got it up the wrong way. And then basically you download the app, which I think is like Instax Share, and you find the network on your phone. So you go to, when it's on, go to settings or go to your Wi-Fi settings. The It will come up straight away, you'll notice it, it will say Instax loads of numbers and letters after you connect to that and then open up the app and all of your photos should be there it explains it all anyway but i thought that sometimes it's easier to just listen to someone telling you what to do and then yeah you open them up and your photos are there shall i show you as a demo yay let's do it Anyway, you get the gist. I really need to go now because I have a meeting and I am running late. Um, so I'm going to run off to that and then go shopping after. But yeah, this is still developing. But as you can see from these pictures, let me find one. Like this one, the quality is just absolutely incredible. The colour is so vibrant. The details are so sharp. Oh, it's just amazing. I love it. If you're looking for a Christmas present or a present to yourself, let's be honest, that's the most important thing. Thank me later.
So the first thing that I picked up is this t-shirt. Um, I just thought it was really cool and I liked the slogan. I didn't realise how cropped it is and so many people look cool in this kind of thing but I just feel too old and like I can't get away with it so that's a no from me. And then I went for this jumper because it's like a Christmas jumper that you can get away with. I really really liked it and as soon as I put it on I was like yep yeah, that's a yes. Then I went for this amazing kind of sleeveless blazer dress. There's probably a better phrase for it than that. I don't know what it is. Um, it's in a really gorgeous white colour. The material is quite nice. It's not see-through, which is an absolute bonus. And I just really like the style and the way that this fit. I think it's really flattering. And I feel like you could wear this with maybe a roll neck underneath and some boots or maybe a long sleeve top or just without anything I think is a really, really cool look. Then I tried on these plastic leggings and I couldn't even get them over my calf. So thank you, next. Then I went to Stradivarius and I tried on this top. Don't know why I tried it on because I have the exact same thing in the gray color and I absolutely adore it. I think it can be super flattering. It is a little bit see-through, but I just think it's a really, really cool top. So I picked that up and then I tried on this tartan blazer, which I thought that I would love, but something just didn't feel right to me. Maybe it was because I was wearing the most ridiculous outfit underneath it, but maybe I'll go back and try it again. But for now, it's a no. I walked into Zara and I didn't see a massive amount of things that I really, really loved, which is so rare for me because I do adore Zara. But I did try on, can you tell that I'm trying to get <laughs> some red pleather trousers? I did try on these kind of, these are much more like trousers than the previous leggings. Um, but the fit just wasn't very flattering for me. And then I tried on this incredible, incredible, incredible red dress. Um, it's silky, it's the most sexy style, but it just sat very low. And I just felt like my boobs were gonna fall out at any second, which obviously is completely unideal in every single way. <laughs> Usually I love both, but I didn't really see anything that I like, really loved and was really stand out. Um, got the printer, so now I need, I want to go into H&M and then I need a photo album and I need some lights as well. Um, I think I might go into Tiger because they're really good with that kind of thing, but I'm not going to lie guys, I'm exhausted. I forgot how tiring shopping was. Uh, first word problems. And then after finding my scrapbook in John Lewis, I went into H&M and I picked up this shirt because I love a kind of boyfriend style, really oversized baggy shirt. And I thought that this would be perfect, but just something about it sat a little bit too structured um, and it didn't feel as cool as I wanted it to. So I did love it, but for me, I was just trying to buy things that I really, really was obsessed with. Which leads me to this jumper. I know it's just a plain stripy jumper, but I loved it from the second that I saw it. The fit is super comfortable. This is a medium. It's really, really comfortable. It's really soft. And yeah, I just know I'm going to get so much use out of it. I'm also going to Paris soon, and I think that this will look incredible there. Then, to be honest, I tried this dress on just because it looked very spectacular, but it was a big fat no for me. I felt like a toilet roll holder. Oh, no. 